This is what a star on Nashville's Walk of Fame will look like. The first star goes in the sidewalk of downtown's Hall of Fame Park in November. It's just another project in the continuing growth explosion downtown. No one is more proud than the mayor. The good news about Nashville is that our brand and the things we're doing are drawing people here in record numbers. We had the best hotel motel receipts we've ever had as a city. We've not just recovered from the problems of the late 1990s and early 2000s, but we've surpassed them. This town is hot in every way. and People want to be here. To get on our Walk of Fame, you have to apply, pass the approval of a secret committee, then pay $7,500 for a construction fee and maintenance. It's pretty much how they do it on this Walk of Fame in downtown Hollywood. The city fathers of Nashville hope in time ours will be just as popular. Getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is one of the entertainment industry's ways of showing you've made it. The stars like them, and so do the tourists. If it works in Hollywood, then why not Nashville? <laughs> Under a hot August sun, the unveiling of the design for a Nashville star, not unlike the ones on Hollywood Boulevard. The Music City Walk of Fame is another card in the ever-growing deck of attractions in the new downtown. This town is hot in every way. People want to be here. They want to be here for music. They want to be here because we're so friendly, because it's such a safe, good place to be. Nashville, Tennessee has it. We're going to keep adding, but the good news is we don't have to add one new big-ticket item. We just need to keep doing the right stuff in a reasonable way.